So if you're thinking about moving to Louisville, the Highlands has got to be on your list for neighborhoods to look at. I'm going to tell you, it's one of the coolest places here. You've got everything here. You've got restaurants, you've got nightlife, you've got local shopping, you've got all kinds of different people all in a really concentrated area. So if you want to see what makes this area weird, stick around, we'll show you. I'm Neil Cox, I'm with Judah Real Estate Group. And I'm Jared Laster, we're here with the Living in Louisville channel. Y'all, we're making videos like this, taking out, showing you around the areas, giving you information that you need to know if you're somebody who is thinking about making a move here to Louisville. So if that's what you're looking for, make sure you get down there, hit that subscribe button, and click the bell that way you get notified when these videos come out, because we've got them coming out all the time. You definitely don't want to miss those, especially if you are that person who really is thinking about making a move here to Louisville, and if that's you, you got to take it one step further, call, text, email us or sound the bugle that's right so we can get off to the races helping you make your move here to the louisville area now in this video as you see here we're in the park you saw at the beginning we're here in the highlands one of the coolest neighborhoods neil tell us a little bit about it the highlands are located kind of around bardstown road and there's all kinds of cool parks in there you got cherokee park you've got tyler park you've got seneca park there's a whole system but there's everything to do in here you've got playgrounds you've got uh, wide spaces to play in. You've got tennis courts. There's a huge sledding hill over there too. And the architecture around here is amazing. There are no cookie cutter houses around this place. Some of it is absolutely spectacular. Yeah, you know, we know there's a lot of, uh, you know, you got the parks, the cool architecture, like you said. Is there anything fun to do around here in the islands? Absolutely. Funny you should ask. We're right here on Baxter Avenue, which Bartstown Road runs right into, and you've got a whole host of iconic nightlife places. Molly Malone's and on a nice night. This whole outside area here is just teeming with people. You've got the Outlook in there. You've got Flanagan's Ale House. And even behind us is O'Shea's, which always has a line to get in it. There's so much to do around here. Uh, traffic at night, it doesn't flow very quickly here because there's people walking around, having a great time. And then just off the main drag, it is residential and there's schools and everything. And it's all right here together. Yeah, so I mean, like you can pretty much live right here on this if you want to. Um, it, but this, the Highlands covers a pretty big area, you know. Yeah, it's big. So, I, but I would say the whole area up and down Baxter and uptown Bardstown, you've mm -hmm. got all these different, like here you've got kind of the more nightlife scene. You've got a lot more restaurants up there. Uh, some cool places, I'll tell you, uh, as you go up Bardstown, there's a cool, like kind of a local uh, fixed up Airbnb type place. Yep, the uh, Bellwether. So yeah, Bellwether. Yep. It's a really cool little place to check it out. If you want to kind of experience this area and live in it, uh, maybe for a few days while you come check it out, maybe, maybe you're at your new home. Absolutely. Here, you can do that right up here. Yep, stay at the Bellwether while we're waiting to close on your new home get some food. There's a lot of great local options. Louisville is actually a very big foodie town. A lot of people don't realize that. There are award-winning chefs, chefs that have been featured on the Food Network regularly. It's amazing. If you like food, you'll like this area. Yeah, and uh, we actually, it's a little farther up that way. We had lunch today at a- uh, Mark's Feed Store. Feed Store. It's a barbecue place. Uh, I had the brisket, you had brisket. Camera guy had ribs. Yep. How are the ribs, camera guy? Amazing, amazing ribs. And the, we had honey wings to say, start. The honey wings, but you can see them. They were delicious. They got that honey glaze on them. You, you, you definitely want to check that out. Check that. <laughs> friendly people here in Louisville, y'all. Yep. Hey, I'll tell you, that's another thing too. Everybody around here is super friendly. It, uh, it, and it's a cool mix of people. It's, and, it's very friendly. Part, it seems like this part of town, people. nobody's judging you. You know, if you've got blue hair, nobody cares. If you're pushing a baby stroller, that's fine. You know, if your family's out having pizza, it's all good, but you might have some, uh, you know, black leather jacket with the devil lock. That's fine too, and everyone gets along. It's just variety. Yeah, so a lot of cool stuff here, a lot of stuff to do. Now, uh, the next thing I think we gotta talk about is like really, if you wanna live here, where could you live? And uh, we're gonna show you some of that right here.
So we're here in Cherokee Triangle. We've driven through some areas of the Bonnie Castle neighborhood. We've seen some areas in the Highland Douglas area and price ranges vary in each one. But yeah, so the Highland Douglas area, what do you what do you kind of see in there? Well, it, there you're going to be in a moderate price range, maybe 350 to 600 is your typical mm -hmm. house. Um, there are outliers. Th this is not like a neighborhood that sticks to a certain style. So you'll yeah. have you can have a really big, beautiful home next to a very small, modest home. It's just part of it. Yeah. Um, then in the Bonnie Castle neighborhood, um, you're going to have a higher average price point but not by a lot yeah it's a little bit bigger it's a little bit grander it's right on the way to cherokee park and cherokee triangle and bonnie castle kind of sit right next to each other at the top of cherokee park yeah so cherokee triangle and just, well all these highland neighborhoods they they have a, they're this unique style and there's a lot of different things that you can see so it's like you said i think you said earlier it's not cookie cutter at all mm -hmm. uh there's all kinds of different things you can see here different styles so that's a really cool thing about the area and you know we're we're in the cherokee triangle area right now so earlier we saw like the big houses mm -hmm. um kind yeah of, you know. some of those on like cherokee that that street yeah are upwards of a million plus some of them you could really call it a mansion yeah and they and they get outrageously expensive but gorgeous they've got all this original turn of the century woodwork stuff that they just don't do these days yeah so you got that there you've also got the area like we're around here i mean and you can look around and see mm -hmm. uh what we've got here in this part of it and uh we've actually got a house we're going to show you here we're yep. going to go inside just give you an idea this one is actually one that's listed for sale mm -hmm. um what's it listed at it's listed at 420 so to give you an idea of the price range here in this neighborhood and, and you can go ahead and look around yeah and, uh, and, and take a look at the neighborhood here and you know there are typical features that some of these highland houses have those the bay windows the porches the columns but no two houses are going to look alike and a lot of these are so old that they've gone through makeovers multiple times and they have the personality of their owner or the previous owner yeah so anyway let's uh we showed you the neighborhood some of the different areas let's actually get inside and take a look at this house so in the highlands you will find a lot of features that you're just not going to find other places. The woodwork detail, I mean, even little details like this, you they don't do this anymore. The baseboards are huge. They're real wood. Um, the fluted casings around the doors. Look at the floors. These are real hardwood, and my guess is they're well over 100 years old. If not, they're close. Um, you get all this this glass and trim work, and there's there's just so many features like the the ceiling, the height of the ceiling. They don't typically do that unless you're at a super high price point in a new home. Look at the detail around the light. I love stuff like that. I think it makes the house super interesting and have its own character, and I really like that. So coming back this way, there's a lot of really cool stuff to even see over here. There's, you know, little shelves here. I love stuff like that. Um, I like just a, a lot of the real wood hand done trim. You just don't see it. Check out this in here. You got some cool pocket doors there. Uh, yeah, you know, you don't get stuff like that you know, a lot of places, you know, it's just kind of unique. It's, they don't make them anymore. Um, you know, it's a cool house. I think it's cool. Like when you come back into the kitchen, one thing you'll notice is that unless the owners have redone the floor plan, your typical Highlands kitchen is gonna be a little smaller just because that was the style back then, you know? Today it's kitchens and bathrooms, but back then it was dining rooms and grand entrances. Yeah. So, hey, uh, this is what just one example. Like we said earlier, there are tons of unique things, all different kinds of things that you can get here in the Highlands, depending on where you go. Um, so it's definitely a cool place to check out. If you want to see more of it, well, you can do that when you get here, or we can show you all these places when you're really looking for home. So. Again, if you want to see more videos like this, you got to get down there, hit that subscribe button, click the bell. That way you're notified when they come out. And if you want to see all that, you're probably the person thinking about moving here. And if you are, 
take it one step further. You're gonna have to call, you're gonna have to text, you're gonna have to email, get out the bugle, sound it. Yeah. What you gotta do is get in touch with us and we're gonna get off to the races, helping you make that move here to Louisville. So y'all, thank y'all for watching this one. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button, leave a comment if you got any questions that we can answer. And we'll look forward to seeing you on the next one.